Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amber and this is a channel all about plus size fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. Today we are looking at the brand Arula. So for those who are not familiar, Arula is a mid and plus size brand. It is owned or sistered by the company Altered State, which is kind of known for their like boho vibe. Arula originally started as a beautiful soul, and I feel like in the last year, year and a half, I had seen so much advertising on social media for this new brand, Arula. Um, and I guess they rebranded, changed their name. I, I felt like at one point I had heard some feedback from the Plus community that was like, why is our plus size brand called a beautiful soul? Like we've got a beautiful body, a beautiful personality, a beautiful everything. Why do we have to be a beautiful soul? So I don't know if that's what kind of drove the change, but Arula it is. <laughs> so looking at Arula's website, they say that Arula was founded to raise the bar on the mid and plus size shopping experience and erase industry standards. Arula celebrates what makes you unique, finds beauty in the details, and grace in the small moments of each day. A Beautiful Soul started out as a label for Altered State, and because of you, we have evolved into our new brand, Arula. We strive to always be authentic and always listen to you. And then Arula means shining as the sun, brilliant, filled with grace, a small altar, and base of an altar. Their clothing, like I said, leans a little bit boho, a little vintage inspired. Um, they definitely have some cute pieces. I've never tried anything from this brand or from A Beautiful Soul. And a lot of that was because they didn't have refunds, like they would only do store credit. And like for me and my needs for my channel, I usually purchase quite a few things so I can try a variety. And that just wasn't gonna work with kind of what my needs were. But now it looks like they, hopefully, <laughs> um, accept refunds, exchanges, store credit, kind of all of that. So I think that's a great option, especially for the plus guests. And then I've also seen a couple brick and mortar stores pop up for them. Um, there's one at Mall of America, I know. I haven't been to it yet, but I look forward to checking it out and kind of seeing what that in-store vibe is like. So they do go from a size 10 to 24. Obviously there is opportunity for them to ex extend, maybe more like Torrid, who also goes from a 10, um, but they go up to like a 30 or something. Um, so I did buy 24s, I believe, in everything. And like I said, I haven't tried them before, so we'll see how they fit. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into the haul. As a reminder, here are my measurements. I am 5'6", I wear about a size 22, and I am straight from the front, but curvy from the side. So a curvy rectangle. So the first thing I'm wearing is the retro rainbow mesh top. I'm wearing a size 22-24, and it is in the color Camel. So, first initial thought on this was it's really short, um, but it's also kind of boxy, which is interesting, because usually for these like meshy tops, they're kind of like second skin, you know, where they're more fitted. So this was, I don't know if it's just too big on me or if this was a design choice, but <laughs> I don't know if I love this one. Um, the fabric is a poly. There's a little bit of stretch in it, but it is a mesh, which means it's see-through. It did not come with the cami that I'm wearing underneath. That's my own. And then it has long sleeves. Um, definitely good room in there. I've got large biceps and it, it accommodates. And then it just has kind of like this little crew neck. And otherwise, just kind of like this actual boxy cropped shape. So it's cute, it's just not quite what I was anticipating. Um, I like the little swirl print on here and everything else is pretty cute. It's just kind of a strange fit otherwise. And then the jeans are the Edie straight jean. They are in a light wash and I'm wearing a size 24. So the fabric on these is really comfortable. There's good stretch. It still feels like nice denim texture and I like the destruction. Um, the wash itself is really nice, this light wash. 
Um, the only thing is maybe I would try a size down because, I don't know, and that's tough because I feel like the rest of it fits really well. It's just the waist is not as high as I'd like, but also I've got like quite a bit of extra in the back. So that's causing them kind of to slide down as I wear them. Um, yeah, I don't know if going down a size would fix that or not, but otherwise super comfortable. They are cropped but like pretty cropped. I've got a shorter inseam I'd say, um, and these hit kind of pretty high on my leg. So it's cute, just know that it's definitely not gonna hit your ankle or anything. It's probably like lower calf, if that makes sense. But yeah, otherwise, great pair of jeans so far. Um, and I'll let you know as I try on other ones, if I'd be better off in maybe 22s instead of 24s. Next up is the retro floral sweater. I'm wearing a size 22, 24 in the color ivory multi. I had such high hopes for this. I thought it was so cute. Um, I feel like for me, the length is maybe just a little bit too short or maybe I'd have to try it with like a skirt instead of jeans um, because the proportions just look a little bit funny on me. But I do think that this is still a really cute sweater if maybe you have a little shorter of a torso or different proportions. It's in this kind of like dense, thick double knit sweater. Um, so it's like pretty, pretty substantial yarn. And then it's got this beautiful intarsia kind of 60s retro floral pattern on it. It is short, like I said, definitely a little crop and more fitted to the body. Um, it's got this square neckline, which is cute, and then a puffed sleeve. The bicep is a little bit tight on this one, um, up into like the elbow. And then there is a rib cuff. The rib cuff isn't too fitted though at the wrist, so it doesn't really like hold onto the hand <laughs> very well. Uh, I do, I think this is really stunning and I almost wish they'd make like a cardigan out of that because this would be really cute in general. Um, yeah, this one kind of makes me sad because she's so cute, but it's not a winner. This next top is the Cullen top. I'm wearing a size 22, 24, and it is in the color Brick Coral. So I love the satin fabric on this. I love the swirl print and the colors. Um, it is a little baby doll peplum style. So you get this deep v-neck elastic at the waist and then the flounce. The sleeves are long, a little bit billowy, and then have elastic at the hem as well. Um, I love, let me see, the back doesn't have elastic. No, the back has, I don't know. I can't tell if the back has elastic or not. Um, I think it's just the front. So I love that there's stretch in the waist. I think that's a win. I love the amount of sweep they give to the peplum. Um, and then I think the sleeves fit really nice. I just wish it was a little bit longer. It's pretty short, um, which yes, it's out there in trend. But for this one, I feel like it would just be perfect to have like a regular length. And it seems like it dips in the back, but it's pretty short in the front. So it's a little like mullet top for you. <laughs> um, Cute, I haven't decided if I'd keep it yet, um, but I do like the print on this one in general and the fit is pretty good, it's just a little bit too short for me. Next, I am wearing the Davina cardigan. This is a size 22, 24 in the color Mango. So, I almost wonder if I could go down a size here. It's definitely, <laughs> <laughs> kind of fallen off. Um, I think a lot of that has to do with this cuff not holding on to the wrists, but um, I am obsessed with like the color blocking on here. So you get this like mango up here and then you get this bright pink at the bottom. There's green and I think that's it, right? Yep, three colors, uh, kind of a chunky stitch and then this little like tassel fray along the sleeves. It hits just below the butt, so it has a little butt cover. There's no closure, so it's just an open cardigan. 
and no pockets. The yarn is soft, a little bit fuzzy, and yeah, otherwise it's just really kind of cute and cozy. I'd say unless you want an oversized fit, you could probably size down in this. And then the jeans, these are another pair of the ED high rise straight leg jeans. I'm wearing a size 24, it's in the color black. And these fit pretty similar to the indigo ones. Um, nothing different really. Yeah, still kind of a little bit low in the back waist. Maybe, eh, it's hard to tell. Maybe there's a little bit less um, like gaping in the back, but still a little bit too low for my preference in the back rise here. And then there are knee destructions here. Well, I think they're supposed to be at the knee. These hit kind of above my knee, so it's like thighs on display. Um, <laughs> they feel a little bit too fitted and too open for what they are. Like usually when I see this big of a knee destroy, it's like a looser kind of fit on the leg. So this just feels a little bit interesting. I don't know. <laughs> it's like windows for my knees. <laughs> Um, but yeah, maybe if you have like longer legs, then your knee will actually like hit in that window. But for me, it's like a little, it's a little thigh window for me. <laughs> so next, this is the Lena top in the color beige blue. And I'm wearing a size 22, 24. So a little crop for sure. Um, it is fully smocked. There is quite a bit of extra room in the body here. And then it has this square neckline with a little bit of elastic and these really flowy sheer sleeves. There is an extra little like ruffle here and then elastic at the bottom here as well. So this little tie is functional at the front. So if you don't want it to be, um, actually, but I still wanna keep that, okay. So if you don't want it to be as short, uh, you can adjust it a little bit. So now it's like a meet and greet, well, kind of, <laughs> to your jeans. My long torso wouldn't mind just a little bit extra, so I could actually, like, you know, not show the pale white torso. Um, but I do think this one is really cute. It'd be great for, like, festivals or summertime, back to, like, shorts or something. Um, it does feel a little bit big, maybe along the bust and kind of, like, the back here, like there's not a lot of kind of hold to the elastic. So I think if you are larger chested, this would be great for you. Um, but yeah, otherwise she's pretty cute. This next top is the bandana cami top. I'm wearing a size 2224 in the color copper. So this is a poly fabric, no stretch to the actual fabric but there is a smock panel in the back, so that gives you a lot of stretch there. It is a little bandana top, so the print on here does look like a bandana, plus it points down at the front to kind of, to kind of give that vibe of like, you're just wearing like a square bandana as a top. <laughs> um, I think this one is really cute. I love the addition of the smocking at the back, and I love the amount of coverage you also get at the back as well. I, the straight cut across here is a little bit tough. Like I feel like it's kind of big here. Um, it's definitely not bad, but yeah, it does feel a little bit off. Like maybe it would be nice if the smocking was just at the upper back and then the bottom was a little bit looser. Um, but super minor call out. This one is really cute and it's definitely leaning in to those fun little summer vibes. So I'd say if you're interested in this for festival season, for summer season, definitely scoop it up quick because I feel like this trend is out there and this will probably get picked up really quick otherwise. All right, you guys, this <laughs> next outfit is definitely something. Uh, <laughs> Here, you can take it all in in its glory. <laughs> so this top is the Esther top. 
like tripping over these cans. <laughs> oh, I'm wearing a size 22, 24 in the color black. And <laughs> so this top is in kind of this like uh, textured knit. It is a little sheer. I don't know if that'll show up on the camera. Um, and yeah, it's sheer. It has smocking on this bottom part, but it doesn't feel very stretchy. Like it's kind of, I guess maybe, maybe it's not my size. I don't know. It feels like it's maxed out on the stretch, which is weird. Um, and then it does have this top part, which the ties are adjustable. So you can kind of make this tie a little bit smaller if you don't want that big of a keyhole there. There's elastic at the shoulders and then this kind of like three quarter length sleeve with elastic as well. I think in general, the top is pretty cute. I feel like if I wore it with my regular jeans, it would be short. These jeans just so happen to be like super high. <laughs> and these jeans are the Ellison Flare Jean. Can we first note the length? It says on the tag that they're 34 inch inseam. I'm probably a, <laughs> I'd say a 30, but maybe I'm not. These are like forever long. Um, these are a size 24 in the color blue and white. I could have sized down at least one, um, but also like, <laughs> why does this look so slimming? <laughs> it's weird, it's like, it kind of looks good even though it's ridiculous. Um, the fabric is a super stretchy, kind of twill quality. There are functional front back pop, nope, no back pockets, just starts. And then the rise of the jean, which I personally love, is really high, like really, really high. Uh, <laughs> the length, as we already said, goes on four days. And the width of the <laughs> These fans are just ridiculous. The width of these flares are just a little bit crazy. So I love the idea. Execution was tough. Um, if they fit better up here, I might consider getting them tailored. But as it is, there would be a lot of work for that tailor to do. So I'm gonna send them back, but <laughs> this is definitely a fun little look to try out. So I paired this same top back to a different pair of jeans so you guys could probably see it a little bit better. And I do think that actually it is a good length. I think it's actually pretty cute too, um, despite some of its like weirdness of like not much stretch in the smocking. Um, I think it might be something that I decide to keep. Um, but these jeans are the Galveston High Rise Flare jeans. I'm wearing a size 24 and it is a light wash. So there's not much, uh, maybe a little stretch, but not much at all. Um, they have a nice high rise and then it is fitted down to the knee and then flares out. I think in general, the shape of these are pretty cute. It's just a little bit tough because there really is no stretch. So I feel that it's like a little uncomfortable. Also, once again, the length is pretty long. These are probably a two and a half inch heel and it's still like dragging on the floor. I think the base wash is nice and some of the hits of destruction are cute, but then there are some that I'm just not a fan of. Like these look very like kind of manufactured um, and not authentic. And then there is some destruction on the back pockets as well. And overall, I think they're really cute for the most part. <laughs> Um, I think they're a little bit like maybe more boho than what I would go, but I do think in general these are pretty cute. It's just if you can kind of live without there being much stretch in the fabric. This next top is the Esmeralda Tank. I'm wearing a size 22, 24 in the color cream brown. So this is a little sweater cropped tank. Um, it has a shaped hem. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a corset, but it's kind of a weird little shape here. Um, the sweater is kind of a double knit. Um, you get like the intarsia checkerboard, which is cute. And then it does have a lace up detail for the back. Um, in general, this would be great for festivals or it could be cute if you had like a oversized button down underneath it, like a white shirt. Um, that could be a cute little kind of like corseted sweater 
over that kind of oversized white shirt vibe. Um, I think this is really cute in general and I love the checkerboard. I just think I'd have to style it and figure out how I'd wear it for like my everyday life. It seems like this brand might lean a little bit more juniors, um, but like I said, it's cute. Just have to figure out how to style it. Okay, so next up is another little mesh top and this is the marble mesh top. I'm wearing a size 22, 24 and it is in the color blue. Kind of same thing, it is like a boxy crop. So there's a lot of extra room here. Um, yeah, I still don't, I still don't like the, the boxy crop of this silhouette. Um, but I do think it's kind of a cute little marble pattern in the blues and taupes. And everything else is same, comfortable, stretchy, mesh, and see-through. But let's talk about these jeans. So these are the Elise High Rise Flare jeans. I'm wearing a size 24, and it is in a dark wash. So I should probably size down here to a 22 because they are pretty big, um, but the fabric does have some good stretch. Love how high the rise is. And then it is fitted in the body with this flare leg. <laughs> the flare on these ones is definitely smaller than the checkerboard, so that's good. They are still a little bit too long, so if I kept them, I'd have to get them hemmed. And then there are patch pockets on the front with, like they're functional, so you can put your hands in it. Pockets on the back. And then a little waist tie here that you can choose to keep or remove. These ones are super comfortable and I actually kind of love them a lot. So I might try to size down and see if that's a better option for me. This next top is the Delia top. I'm wearing a size 22, 24, and it's in the color Sage. So I paired this back to the jeans that I had on prior, but I just took the belt off of it because there was too many like ties. Um, but this is in like a poly fabric, no stretch. It's got this little ruched detail that does have uh, elastic stitching, so you can kind of stretch it, but it like boings back up. So it's probably more for comfort than anything. Um, it has a square neckline with elastic at the shoulders, full sleeves with elastic at the hem, and then it is a cropped length, and there is fully smocked back for some comfort and ease. These ties are not adjustable, so you cannot cinch it up or down. They're more for just looks. Um, this one is really cute though, actually. I love the sage color, and for the most part, I feel pretty covered. These jeans do have a really high rise, so I love that for my long torso back to the top. But in general, I think she's cute. She's a little romantic moment and a little bit flirty. For this next look, this is the Azalea sweater. I'm wearing a size 22, 24 in the color butterscotch. This is so cute. Um, it is a little scratchy. I thought there was wool in it, which is why it was scratchy, but there's not. It's like a, an acrylic poly blend. Um, but it is, oh, that's pretty. It's got like a little stitch detail at the inside arm here. Um, but it does have kind of this belled sleeve with the scallop. There's a scallop at the hem, and then that's also like rib and rib at the neckline. But the really pretty part is this little floral detail here on the arms. It is cropped, but it is kind of like a looser boxy fit, dropped shoulders and everything. I think this one's really cute. With <laughs> that being said, I don't think it's cute back to these jeans, <laughs> but I do think you could wear it with literally any other jean type that I wore today. So straight legs, flares, you could even do skinnies, obviously that's an easy one. Um, overalls would be super cute with this too. So yeah, I actually might, might keep this one for myself. And then these jeans are the Incrediflex Deconstructed Wide Leg Jean. I'm wearing a size 24 and it's in the color Light Wash. So I might try to size down at least one size here because it is like a little bit too baggy in certain areas. Like, 
specifically at the thigh, I would like it to be maybe a little bit more fitted before it, it gets wider on the leg. Um, but I do like the rise. The fabric is stretchy, which is nice. And then the base wash is really pretty too. I don't really love how much destruction there is on these, um, but that's definitely a personal choice. Plus, it is a little bit long for me, so I have to get it hemmed, which might be tough with some of the destruction at the bottom. Um, but otherwise, these are a really cute pair of jeans. I think um, you'll just have to be cautious of what size you try. So then I did grab a couple dresses from Arula as well. So this first one is the Tallulah dress. I'm wearing a size 22, 24, and it is in the color green. So it's in this poly kind of silky fabric. Um, it's got <clears throat> elastic on, at the waist, a V neckline with these non-functional buttons, and then this flutter sleeve. There are two different little ruffle tiers at the hem, and it is a pretty short length. Um, <laughs> I would probably pass on this one personally, but um, it does kind of dip lower in the back and shorter in the front. It's just a little bit short for what I would choose. The color is green and then it does have this little kind of abstract floral on here with like cream taupe, rust, and black. Overall, she's pretty cute. Be cute with like a long oversized cardigan. I'm wearing her with some boots. Um, but yeah, just need a little bit more length on her. <laughs> this next dress is the Lana dress. I'm wearing a size 22, 24, and it is in the color lavender. It is this cotton rich fabric that has this really pretty kind of like grid or plaid texture in it. And it is a little bit sheer. So they do have a lining underneath here, which is nice. The whole bodice is smocked, so lots of stretch. And then the skirt itself has a couple different layers of ruffles. I wish there was maybe a little bit more fullness under the waist because it gets kind of flat here, um, but it's not too bad. And then the length on this feels better than the one I tried on before. The color is this light lavender, which is pretty. And overall, the fit of this is pretty good. Um, I do have a little bit of bunching happening here, but it's to be expected with my backside. <laughs> um, yeah, I think this is a pretty little spring dress and would be great for like Easter, Mother's Day, that type of thing. And of course we had to save the best look for last. So this jacket is a Cecilia fringe suede jacket. I'm wearing a size 22, 24 in the color black. So this has a really nice suede quality. I love the cropped length with the dress. And then it has no closure, so it's just open, and this fringe detail on the front as well as along the sleeve. Where this doesn't work for me is the sleeve. It is so tight, it <laughs> can't even move. <laughs> um, yeah, it's like they did, ugh, it's a tiny sleeve. There's no stretch. Oh, it's so sad because it's really cute. Um, <laughs> and the fabric, I don't think it's a stretch suede. Um, eh, maybe, I don't know. So it's like cutting out the lining, I don't think would help either. It's just the sleeve is like really tiny. I don't know who they were designing for when it came to that. Ah, so cute. So if you have a smaller arm, this would be great for you because it is really cute. And then underneath the jacket, this is the Lucille dress. I'm wearing a size 22, 24 in the color red. So, uh, obsessed. This is probably my favorite item of the haul. First of all, it fits wonderfully. It's got this fully smocked bodice. These ties are adjustable. I wouldn't have minded if they were placed a little bit further in, um, which technically I could probably move myself if I needed to but it's not too bad and then it's got stretch at the waist this little ruffle detail and it's a midi length and there's plenty of sweep and swing to the skirt of the dress 
There is no lining and the fabric is a little bit see-through, so I'll probably just wear Spanx with it and then you know, be good to go. But just note that you might wanna wear a slip, a lining, something underneath so it's not a straight view to <laughs> your skin. <laughs> uh, but I love the color. This is actually a really cute like Valentine's Day idea dress or even like perfect for like 4th of July, that type of thing. So definitely my favorite of the whole haul. Okay guys, that wraps up the Arula haul. Let me know down below which ones were your favorite and which ones have got to go. Also, let me know if you've tried them before and how you feel about their clothing, their fit, all that stuff. As always, thank you for stopping by and letting me play dress up. And please comment, like, subscribe, share, and come back for more. See you next time.